Hi there, it's Julie with the Edmonton Mennonite Center for Newcomers, also known as EMCN. Today I want to introduce a new video series, and this series is going to take a look at a lot of tips about working with LinkedIn. LinkedIn is the world's largest professional networking site, and that's what we're going to start with today, is how to use it to reach out and make connections with people. It certainly helps to follow someone and to interact with what they're posting on LinkedIn before reaching out to connect. But for today, we'll simply concentrate on the connection portion. Go to their profile and look for the connect button. If there's no connect button, do not click the message button. The message button is only for messaging people you're already connected with, or if you have a premium version of LinkedIn, which is not necessary for most people. Instead, look for the more button and click on that. When you click on the more button, this will pop up a menu with several options. In it, you should find the connect button that you want to press. Once you click connect, a screen will pop up where you can customize your invitation. Do not hit the send now button. That will send your connection invitation without any note and any explanation of who you are and why you want to connect. You will always want to add a note to any connection request you are making. Even here, the program itself says LinkedIn members are more likely to accept invitations that include a personal note. So from this screen, you will want to click the Add Note button. Once you click Add Note, a screen will pop up where you can customize the note you want to send with your invitation. You should always include this short note with your invite. It doesn't have to be long. In fact, you only have 300 characters to use when you're creating your invite note. The most important things to include are how you know this person and why you want to connect with them. You want to answer those two questions briefly but descriptively. We don't always meet people face to face before wanting to connect with them over LinkedIn to build our network. So make sure to include where you've met them or how you came across their name before reaching out to them. When mentioning why you want to connect with them, be descriptive. A lot of times people will be skeptical of somebody who wants to connect just for the sake of connecting. Here's an example of a connection request note that I sent out to somebody previously. Dear Matthew, we have never met, but your profile came up when I was looking for people who are experienced in project management in Edmonton. I wanted to get your perspective on current hiring practices in the industry. Would you be open to connecting with me? This note explains how I found him and exactly why I want to connect with him. Once you've written your invitation note, then you can click the send invitation button. The person you sent it to will get a notification on their end and they will make a decision whether or not to accept or reject your request. Now, if you're using the LinkedIn mobile app, it works slightly differently. When you go to someone's profile, you do not want to click the connect button. That would send a connection request immediately without your opportunity to create an invitation note with information about who you are and why you want to connect. Instead, find and click on the circle with the three dots. This will bring up a menu with several options. Click on Personalize Invite, which acts like the Connect for the app. From here, the ability to customize your invitation would pop up and the procedure is the same as what I showed previously. Invitation notes will not guarantee that somebody accepts your invitation request, but it will increase the chances. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Until next time, have a great day and stay safe.